العلم أشراف مطلب وطالبه لله أكرام من يمشي على قادم العلم نور مبين يستضيء به أهل السعادات والجهال في الظلم I want someone to read out the five, the four ta'rifs that we've got left. Today, we're going to summarize it on the board, in all of it, and then we're going to study it one by, bit, one by one. Lakin, what was the next one? Al-Mandub, sah? Someone read that mandub. Abdullah, read that mandub. Uh, al leave lughatan, just the, the, the istilah. Lahda, lahda, lahda. Today, we're going to finish these five commandments, inshallah. We're going to finish the five commandments, the al the, uh, And it's simple because you already know what these ahkam taklifiyah is. All we're doing now is learning the definition of mandub, muharram, makruh, and what? Mubah. This definition that I'm writing on the board, I want you to memorize it. I want you to memorize it. So the way that we're going to have the test for usul al-fiqh is I'm going to give you a definition and I'm going to give you all of these ahkam taklifiyah muddled up. You have to match the word with the ta'rif. Is that understood? So I'll give you a ta'rif here. Five definitions and I'll write all of these here together. For example, wajib, uh, muharram, mubah. And then I'll say match each definition, each word with the correct definition. Is that understood? So it's important that you memorize these definitions. And Usul al fiqh, the definitions are extremely important to memorize. So, Tfadl Abdullah. Ma amara bihi ashari'u, ha? Ma amara bihi ashari'u? La ala وجه الإلزام أه؟ لا لا leave the مثال up for a second you all know the مثال we're going to go into that what was the next one محرم صح the definition was ما نهى عنه الشارع على وجه الإلزام. Okay. See that bit tag part that I've written on the board. Don't memorize that bit. Al Makruh is the next one, sir. Okay. ما نهى عنه الشارع لا على وجه الإلزام Don't memorize that part المباح ما لا يتعلق به أمر ما لا يتعلق به أمر ولا نهي لذاته Okay This is all in the mutton Okay what is wajib? Who can give me the definition of wajib without looking at the book? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Labats. Who can give me the definition of wajib? Put your hand up, sisters. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Technically, all of you should have your hand up. Like, what gone from the sisters? Ma amara bihi ashari'u ala wajib al-izam. Ma amara bihi that which the shari' shari' commands with, commands us to do ala wajh al-ilzam in a way that is binding i.e. example as salawat, five daily prayers, what else? Huh? zakah, fasting these are wajibat 
طيب the wajib we've already studied the mandub is similar to the wajib as we shall see ma amara bihi ash-shari'u that which uh, the shari' commands with means that which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands us to do what does this part exclude out of the five ahkam muharram and makruh why does it exclude muharram and makruh that which the shari that which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands us with why does it exclude muharram and makruh Huh? Simple. Allah doesn't Allah, huh? Allah doesn't command you to do haram, sah? Huh? Allah says that? La, the opposite. Allah doesn't command us with it. Is that understood? Okay. And he only takes out makruh and muharram. So that which the shari' commands you. So what do we understand from this tarif so far? That the mandub is ma'mur bihi. We're commanded to do the ma'mur. Okay? لا على وجه الإلزام لا على وجه الإلزام لكن not in a way that is binding meaning we've been commanded to do it but if we don't do it we're not sinning is that understood for example the rawatib the, 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 the sunnah prayers before and after each salah fasting on Mondays and Thursdays يوم العشورة يوم عرفة and so on are these wajib لا لكن are we commanded to fast them? yes is that command binding? لا it is not binding is that understood? what is the definition of mandub? ما أمر به الشارع لا على وجه الإلزام so the shari' has commanded us to to do this لكن not in a way which is wajib meaning that if we don't do it we're sinning i.e. توحيد صح for example صح؟ so what was he not in your head? <laughs> نعم. obviously obviously توحيد comes under a wajib. is that understood the mandub? the mandub is understood. you all know what a sunnah is and we'll study some of the names. you all know what a sunnah is, mandub, mustahab. all you need to do now is memorize the tarif. the muharram is what? let's go over to muharram. ما نهى عنه الشارع that which the Shari, that which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prohibits. Allah has prohibited it. Okay? Ala wajhil ilzam, in a way which is binding, meaning it is totally haram. Okay? This part, ma naha anhu ashari'u, what does it exclude? Huh? Wajib. And? Mandub. And why does it exclude wajib mandub? That which the shari, that which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prohibits from us to do. Why does wajib and mandub, why, do, why is it excluded? Why does it exclude it? Allah, huh? Allah doesn't prohibit something. Naam. So Allah doesn't prohibit the five daily prayers. Nor does Allah prohibit uh, fasting on Mondays and Thursdays. So that takes, that part of the definition takes, excludes this. على وجه الإلزام لكن in a way that is binding meaning you totally have to stay away from it شرب الخمر فواحش and so on meaning you have to it is binding it is haram for you to stay away from it that excludes what? Huh? مكروه مكروه standing up drinking uh, we will get to that actually لكن that is the definition of ما نهى عنه that which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands us to stay away from in totality, which is haram to do, which not haram, which is binding to stay away from. Who can give me an example? Shukbul Khamar, what else? Zina, what else? Gambling, Tadkhin, uh, smoking, all of these are muharramat. Meaning, if a person does it, then they'll be sinning. And if they leave it, we'll see the, the, the different types. 
See this bit, this bit. What does it say? Bitagak. Okay. Why did I say leave it out? And as the sharh that I have explains, bitagak. Because when I said to you, manaha anhu ashari'u, that which the sharia has prohibited in a way which is binding, what do you understand from that? Huh? That we leave it off. You understand that we leave it off. So there's no point repeating this word of bitarq by leaving it off. There's no need to repeat it. And in usul al-fiqh, the definition, any word that is in the definition that is not needed, if you have it in that definition, it is a deficiency. It is a aib. Not haram, yani. Like it's just that the usulim will say, like, why are you giving us extra words? For example, now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If we can have seven words in that definition, it's better than having eight words. If I can give you a definition of four words, it is better and more respected than me giving you a definition of ten words. Although what I'm describing is exactly the same thing. That's just the usuli and that's how they do it. Taib. So we've understood makruh, sah? What do you have to do now? As students, memorize the definition. al ma naha anhu That which the shari' prohibits. La ala wajhil ilzam. But not in a way which is binding. Meaning the shari' tells us to abstain from these things that are makruh. But if we do do it, then we're not sinning. Because it is not a leaving off that is compulsory. We're told to leave it off, lacking it is not compulsory to leave it off. For example, who can give me an example of makro? Eating or drinking standing up. That's that's you lot the shafi'i. We're we're hanabila, so we don't go on. Like in even hanabila the say that go on. Praying the wafin? During? Prohibited times. During the prohibited times. During the prohibited times, is it haram to pray or is it makruh to pray? Muharram. That doesn't come under it. That goes under muharram. Sleeping outside, did you say? Sleeping after asak. La, la, it's not makruh. It's okay to sleep after asak. Just puts you in a bad mood, but it's okay. It's not haram. Huh? Eating too much? Yeah, being excessive can be disliked, naam. Sleeping on your belly, naam. Sleeping on your belly. La, la, that's not makur. That's permissible. The qibla? Facing the qibla, sah? Tayyib. That's a masala. There's khalaf between the fuqaha. Sahih. Some of them say it's makur, and some say it is muharram. Some say it's muharram. There's about, I think, more than 15 opinions on that masala alone. If not more. And I'm using the masjid as a pathway as if it's a short, taking a shortcut in the masjid. Huh? Naam, excellent. Given and taken with your left hand. The sunnah is that you, given, you take with your right hand. Taken? Taken? Uh, excellent. Sahih, sahih. Taken of another. Making another, saying, "Oh Allah, if you, oh Allah, if you cure me, I'm going to do this and this. Oh Allah, if you give me this, I'm going to do, I'm going to pay this and this." And that's makruh, naam. That's makruh. The Messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "La, la khayr fi nadrin." Was was the. إِنَّمَا يُسْتَخْرَجُ مِنَ الْبَخِيلِ Like in the first part of the hadith. إِنَّمَا يُسْتَخْرَجُ مِنَ الْحَدِيثِ That's the second part of the hadith. So it is makruh. Lacking if a person does it, they should what? Fulfill it. So that is makruh. Something which is disliked. Some people say smoking is disliked. Like smoking is muharram. Smoking is muharram. So مَا نَهَا عَنْهُ أَشَارِعُ That which the shari' prohibited. لَا عَلَى هُوَجِ الْإِزَامِ Like you're not in a way... That is compulsory to leave off. Is that understood? Why do you look stone faced? No, I'm straightforward, that's huh? Mubah, let's go over to Mubah. 
ما لا يتعلق به that which is not connected with it a command what amr ولا نهي مباح is that which doesn't have a command here we said nahi sah and here we said amr the mubah we've not been commanded to do it and we've not been commanded to stay away from it sah لكن this is extremely important لذاته in of itself يعني pertaining to the actual act itself so for example traveling traveling what is the ruling on traveling with an i want to go to a different city in the uk what's the permiss- what's the hukum mubah sah mubah permissible because there's no amr in the quran there's no command in the quran telling us to travel and there's no command in the quran telling us to stay away from it sah so it's permissible what's another what is another example of mubah eating drinking sleeping going to the gym huh? talking talking nah, talking as long as not too much talking also طيب لذاته in of itself so suffer or traveling was permissible what about if i want to travel to hajj and it's my first hajj the hajj to islam that traveling becomes what wajib why because it is connected to a wajib The wajib is what? Hajj. Because it's connected to a wajib, it becomes a ha- ha- wajib. Give me a qa'ida fiqhiyah that is applied to that. It, no, don't shout out. Put your hand up if you know. Put your hand up if you know. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think the brothers start to put their hand up when they see that I'm counting. One, two, three, about six, seven. Sisters, is there a qa'ida that applies to lidati, that suffering example? Okay, ما لا يتم الواجب إلا به فهو واجب. Okay, that's the قاعدة الصحيح. Excellent. Would the brothers going to say that? Anyone else wording it differently? وسائل الأمور كالمقاصد. Which is the same as what the sister said, but she specified it on واجب, which is what we're talking about. حج. الأمور وسائل وسائل الأمور المقاصد. So the wasila takes the same ruling as the maqsad. طيب. If a person wants to travel from London to, مثلا, to Turkey to take part in a haram event. There's a mixed wedding over there. One of your friends get married and he said, come to my wedding. Luckily it's a mixed wedding with Iyad Billah. And there's men and women and khamar and so on. What is the ruling for, me, for you traveling from London to Turkey? Haram, Limada. Because of what is attached to it. Not that suffering itself is haram, like because of what is what? Huh? Naam, what is attached alongside it? Is that understood? طيب. All we need to do now is read the matan. And we've got 10 minutes. We've got 10 minutes and we're going to pass this section, inshallah. Qala Shaykh Rahimahullah Ta'ala was stilahan al mandub. Wal mandubu is stilahan. Before we move on, the last mas'ala that we talked about was the athar of the wajib. What is the aftermath of the, or the effects of the wajib? Ma'isabu fa'ilu. The one that does it is rewarded. And the one that? Huh? The one that leaves it off is punished. Like in the matan says, yastahiqu. He is deserving of punishment, right? Yastahiqu is better. It's better to say yastahiqu. Why? Because that is in accordance with the aqeed of Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah. Because the aqeed of Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah is that sahib al kabirati tahta mashiatillah. The person that dies upon major sins is under the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Qastan? That person does it intentionally, meaning does that wajib intentionally for the sake of Allah. The wording may be different, like in, that person intended to do the wajib as an ibadah. For example, if a person uh, during the month of Ramadan he doesn't want to fast, like in, he fasts just to go on a diet. Mudlaqan, mm. regardless of. La, mutlaq. On its own, I don't know what they mean. Show me the ta'rif, the, the context that it was written in. Like in with the qas, that is what is meant. Taib. 
هو المندوب لغه المدعو دم المندوب the mandub is that which he is called upon lughatan okay that's, the, that's why the shari said la yasaluna akhahum hina yandubuhum fi an-naibat ala ma qala burhana طيب so lughatan linguistically it means al mad'u that which is called upon or calling upon something lakin al shari wa istilahan in the shari in in usul al fiqh wa istilahan it is ma amara bihi al shari that which the shari commands with that which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands with لكن لا على وجه الإلزام not in a way which is binding which a person should do is that understood? so it is something that we are commanded with لكن it is not wajib to do it meaning we don't have to do it if we leave it out we're not sinning طيب. now the benefit of that is that if a person does it they are rewarded the fruit of that is if they do it, they are rewarded. And if they leave it out, they are not what? They're not sinning. Is that understood? طيب. Some of the names of mandub are also mustahab. Mustahab or masnoon. Masnoon or tatawwa' or nafal. Nafal. All of these are mutaradifat. They're all names. Or terminology is used for that which is mustahab or sunnah. Sunnah, masnoon, yani it is sunnah. Is that understood? Taib. Huh? La, uh, la, in some of the fuqaha you will find masnoon, mandub, uh, mustahab. So for example, they will say mustahab is that which there is no text mentioning it. And Masnoon is that which there's a text mentioned. So they have slight dif- technicalities, differences between them. Like in, in general, in the, according to the Jumhur of the Usulian, they have the same meaning. Uh, same for Sunnah, naam. Masnoon, Sunnah, Mustahab. Taib, questions after, because we've already started the lesson. We've already done the lesson. The lesson is complete. We're just reading now. We're just reading the matan. Taib, is that understood? Mandub. Al-Muharram Lughatan Al-Mamnu' Al-Mamnu' Muharram Linguistically is Al-Mamnu' That which is prohibited That which is prohibited Taib Mathalan Waharramna alayhi al-maradi' When Musa alayhi salam was taken to The house of Fir'aun As a small baby Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Waharramna alayhi al-maradi' So those women that wanted to breastfeed him It was haram for them Meaning Mamnu' They weren't able to doesn't mean that it's haram according to the sharia la. That's why he had to be returned back to his mother. According to the stilah or the terminology of the usuli, that which the sharia prohibits in a way which is binding بتارك, and to leave it out. With leaving it out. What did we say about this part? Leaving it out? Huh? This part of leaving it out, leave it out. Because it is not needed. It is not needed. It is probably an example. Okay? It is not needed. Because the first part of the ta'rif already points towards that. Such as being disobedient to the parents. With that part of that excludes that which is wajib, that which is mandub, and that which is mubah. Why is that? Huh? Because the what? Wajib, naam. They wajib and mandub and mubah. We've not been prohibited from doing. And the, shari, the, the definition is manaha anhu al shari. Is that understood? Taib. Fakharaja bi, no, no. Fakharaja bi qawlina ala wajil ilizam in a way which is binding. In a way that, that part of the definition, what does that exclude? Makru. Because makru, a person can do like in. Is disliked. Well, Muharram, the Sheikh says, and Muharram, you thabu tarikuhu. The person that leaves it off is rewarded. Imtithalan. See that part there? Imtithalan, underline it. Wa yastahiku al iqaba fa'ilu. And the person that does it deserves to be punished. Imtithalan, what does this mean? A person leaves out something which is Muharram. Because Allah made it muharram. 
For example, a person, مثلاً, wants to listen to music. A person likes to listen to music. Lakin he leaves it off and he stays away from listening to music because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made it haram. He has done it imtithalan li amrillah. He has done it for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that person will be what? Rewarded. Okay. What about if a person wants to listen to music, goes onto YouTube in order to listen to music, but he doesn't have connection online. He doesn't have a connection. Will he be rewarded for leaving it off? No. He won't be rewarded for leaving it off. Why? He intended to? He intended to, sin, intended to sin. For example, if a person wants to rob a house, burglary for example, if a person wants to take items from a house and he places his ladder on top of the wall. And as he's about to climb, he sees someone walking past and he hides. That person passes by. As he's about to climb again, he sees another passerby. And again, he goes back and it carries on. There's so many passersby, he keeps hiding every time he sees one. Half an hour later, the owner of the house comes in, parks his car. And then he thinks, I can't do it now. Takes his ladder, wraps it up and goes away. Will he be rewarded for not robbing the house? Why not? He was going to do it. He may actually be sinful for that. Like in that leaving off, he won't be rewarded. Why? Because he tried to do it, like he just couldn't. Huh? No, he wanted to do it, but it was out of his hands. Like, what about a person, the example that we mentioned with music? What if a person just has never listened to music and has no desire for listening to music? Just has no desire for listening to music. And he doesn't listen to music. Will he be rewarded for leaving off listening to music? No. Why? Because he did not leave it off because Allah made it haram. He just left it off because he's not interested. He's not understood. So all of those three examples come under imtithalim. وَيُسَمَّ مَحْظُورًا أَوْ مَمْنُوعًا And that is from the names of al-mamnu' To say mamnu' or mahzur Mamnu' and mahzur All of these are uh, names for that which is muharram Mahzur, mamnu' Ma'asiyah, a sin Sayyia, an evil act Dhanb a sin So it's the same If I say that is muharram That is uh, That is a dham That is a sayyia That is mamnu' That is mahzur And so on Where did we come across That word mahzurat? Bab al-hajj Bab al-hajj And also Al-qawad fiqhiyya that which is disliked Makruh lughatan is that which is disliked Istilahan is Ma naha anhu al shari' That which the shari' prohibited La ala wajil lizam Like not in a way which is binding Kal akhdi bi shimali Kal akhdi bi shimali Shimali Like taking with your left hand It is not haram Like it is disliked Wa i'ta'i biha And given on, with the left hand So it is disliked It is not uh, Permissible It is not permissible to do Like not in a way Which is muharram فَخَرَجَ بِهَانَا نَعَمْ وَالْمَكْرُوهُ فَذَا مَكْرُوهُ يُثَابُ تَعْرِقُهُ إِمْتِثَالًا The person that leaves it off Because it is makruh, He will be rewarded Like in the person That leaves it off نَعَمْ وَلَا يُعَاقَبُ فَاعِلُهُ Like in the person That does this makruh, Then he is not blameworthy He is not sinning Is that understood? Uh, and the last point والمباح لغة and مباح linguistically is المعلن والمأذون فيه that which is uh, permissible that which a person is given permission to do المباح that you can do واستلاحا is ما لا يتعلق به أمر ولا نهي لذاته is that which there's no command connected to it specifically and there's no prohibition connected to it specifically Lidati in of itself, when you look at that actual act of traveling, of uh, mathalan, uh, traveling, or walking, or shower, washing. In general, these are mubahat. Like, what if a person ha- has to do a ghusl from Janaba or Haid, whatever? Then it becomes wajib. Like, in ghusl, in general, on a hot day, it is what? 
Mubah, it is permissible for you to do. Lakin, if it is connected to an act which is Mubah, عفو, which is wajib, then it becomes wajib. And if it is connected to an act which is Sunnah, then it is Sunnah. For example, miswak. Buying and selling. What's the ruling on buying and selling in general? Huh? Mubah. What about buying a miswak? Mustahab. Why? Because of what I'm? Because of what I'm buying. Ta'ib. Buying water to make wudu. No, buying water in general. Ta'ib. Mubah. What about if it's 10 minutes to go to gym and I buy water? Wajib. Naam. لا يتعلق بها أمور نعم نعم وخرج بقول لذاته طيب ولاستدل ذا وخرج بقولنا لذاته ما لو تعلق بها أمور لكونه وسيلة طيب والمباح ما دام لا يترتب عليه والمباح المباح ما دام على وصف الإباحة as long as it is on the description of permissibility فإنه لا يترتب عليه ثواب ولا عقاب مباح as it is itself that description of something being permissible, there is not a command, there is not a punishment connected to it, and there is not a reward connected to it. Is it understood? Eating, traveling, sleeping, these sorts of things, as they are, there's no, you won't be punished for doing it, and you won't be rewarded for leaving it out. Like if it is connected to other things, you will be what? Either, either rewarded or punished. طيب, the last point, there's other names for mubah, from them, halal. Halal, Mubah, Ja'iz. All of these are words that are used for Mubah. Is that understood? So on that note, we've finished. We've completed uh, the Muqaddimah of Usul of the Shaykh, Rahimahullah, in which he talks about the virtues of Usul al-Fiqh and so on, and the first two author in it. And then we talked about Al-Ahkam al-Khamsa. Al-Ahkam al-Khamsa, the five Ahkam of Wajib, Mandub, Muharram, Makruh, and Mubah. Now, inshallah, next week we're going to start on, start on the Al-Ahkam Al-Wa' Al-Wad'iyya. The Ahkam that the Shari' has placed as signs for something to do. For example, uh, witnessing the moon, sighting the moon just before the month of Ramadan. Is it wajib for us or mustahab? No, it's not connected to us. Whether the moon, it's not wajib upon us to bring out the moon, is it? No. The time for salah to dhuhr, the time for salah entering. It's not wajib for us to make the salah enter, is it? Like, it's wajib for us to pray. So these are ahkam, wad'iyya, and we're going to start on them next week, inshallah. The Shaykh, rahimahullah, only mentions, I think, as-sahih and al-fasid. Like, we're going to study about a few more. We're going to study a few more. Um, one question online, go on. The intention obviously goes back to it goes back to the intention. If a person does it because it is wajib, they believe it is wajib, then it is uh, inshallah they'll be rewarded for that. And the other person that just does it to please Allah, inshallah they'll be also rewarded. Like in, um, let me just bring something to your attention, right? We're laymen in reality. When we yani, it's difficult to call, we're not obviously scholars and we're not ulama. And for the student of knowledge. There are certain words that they should avoid as a student of knowledge. For example, I'm of the opinion. عندي, that which is stronger according to me. But these issues, these wordings, the student of knowledge should avoid. Why? Because who are we to say, Wallahi, I've researched this masala, this and this and this and this. It is, يعني, it is not something that is good for the student of knowledge. Sometimes you find students of knowledge debating with the utmost يعني, uh, يعني power and so on. And in reality, they have, they've only looked at one opinion. There's a five or six other opinions, each according to, each having evidence. Like in just say, I follow this sheikh. Like in, I'm of the opinion, or to say, indi, or indana. The scholars would say, who are you to have indiya? يعني? Who are you to be? India. That is not something, I'm, I'm not, يعني, 
having a go at the sister that wrote the question. Like, and this is just a side benefit for myself and for you. We should be shy to use these terminologies. If we're Albani, Ibn Baz, Ibn Usaymin, Fawzan, and these Imams, then we can say, Rajah Indi. Furthermore, Sheikh Fawzan, Hafidahullah, when he would be asked, What is that Rajah Indak? In any message, he would say, Ibn Baz, Kani Yakul Kada. Sheikh Ibn Baz, Rahimah, Kani Yakul Kada. So he would say, Ibn Baz used to say. Is that understood? So for the student of knowledge, they should preserve their tongue. And this helps the person in their development, in their path, in their quest for seeking knowledge. And it keeps them humble. Like to say, I'm of the opinion and this and that. Whereas if we were to ask the person that is saying that, they probably don't know one evidence of the opposite opinion. Hmm? Would you say going against the ad of the people, makur? Naam, that can be considered makur. If you're in a land that they wear a certain clothing, or they do certain things in a certain way, to try and oppose them is disliked. Yeah, of course the Muslims kuffar. You kind of you have to do the opposite. You have to oppose them. You have to oppose them. Like in, I'm talking about the ad of the Muslims. The person wears and dresses and behaves and does things according to the, com- the, the, the people in your community. Never try standing out. Never try standing out. And I'll give you a simple example. And you may find it strange. Actually, don't worry. We'll leave that example. We'll end there. We have to pray. Allah Ta'ala.